Trucker Dump for September 1st, 2010, episode 51, Sucking It Up. Welcome to Trucker Dump, where you'll get one driver's insights and sometimes humorous views of truck driving and the trucking industry, and pretty much anything else he feels like dumping on you. This podcast is brought to you by AboutTruckDriving.com. Resources that help you understand the world of truck driving through the use of stories and a pathetic attempt at humor. Howdy folks, Todd McCann here. Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Today's podcast is a bit of a pity party. Well, it started out that way. Then it took a left turn and wound up being a lesson about choosing a driving job based on your priorities. Just letting you know so you don't hit the stop button when you hear how it starts out. Stick with it and I promise I'll get to the point. So let's get on with sucking it up. And by the way, it's dead quiet for a second, and then I got 500 trucks going by all at once. So pardon the noise. Now we'll get on with it. Wilson Hines is a guy I met on Twitter a while back. A link to his Twitter page will be in the show notes. I've discovered that when it comes to Wilson, I'm clearly breaking the Tenth Commandment. That's the one that says, Thou shalt not covet. Wilson and I have similar plans for our lives. He wants to get out of trucking and get a degree. I do, too. We also both married hotties that we don't deserve. His wife recently became a nurse. The evil overlord has started classes to become a sonographer. The difference is, when it comes to goals, Wilson and his wife are a couple years ahead of me and the evil overlord, which just isn't fair since we're older than them. This past week, Wilson cleaned out his truck for the last time. Clearly, I didn't. Patience has never been my particular virtue, but this time I've got no choice in the matter. I'd love to drop my truck at the nearest company terminal, but the fact is I need to pay off some debt before I can start school. So I guess it's time to suck it up. Here's the thing that gets me. I'm being a hypocrite working at my present job. Normally, if I hear a driver talking about not getting home in a timely manner, I tell them to find another job. Anyone who follows me on Twitter knows that my company has utterly failed in getting me home the first two times I've tried. Yet I'm still not quitting and moving on to another company. Why not? For one thing, I'd never make a decision based on two failed attempts to get me home. The thing that has me leery is that this rarely happened when I worked for this company the first time around. Because of why I live, it's never been easy to get me home. Still, I'd say 95% of my home times with them the first time around were successful. I'm hoping that their current failings are just a fluke. I'm having some strong doubts, though. Secondly, the money is just too stinking good. Many times a carrier is willing to pay a high mileage rate because they know that you won't be getting any miles. Others will offer you high miles because they know they're going to give you the shaft on pay per mile. My company gives me both. I make more money per mile than most companies are willing to offer. None of it is based on unobtainable bonuses either. Furthermore, my first five paychecks had miles of 2859, 3176, 2607, 2223, that's a lame home time week, and 3053. That's pretty freaking good, especially compared to what I was getting at my last company, both in terms of miles and mileage pay. And before anyone asks, sorry, I never say my company's name online. Still, is good money reason enough to stick around? When the evil overlord and I decided to return to school after 13 years, we knew it'd be tough. Only rich students have the luxury of turning a college education into a series of keg parties and bong hits. The rest of us have to make major sacrifices. Finances will probably be tight. Weekend camping trips will turn into writing research papers. Keeping up with your favorite TV shows? Yeah, you can forget that. Sadly, my sacrifice is going to have to start before I even get to school. I'm going to have to tolerate a company that doesn't meet all my criteria. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's no such thing as a perfect trucking company. Your job as a driver is to find one that has annoyances that you can live with. What is that annoyance? Well, it's different for everyone. You'll have to figure that one out on your own. My number one priority right now is to make as much money as I can. I simply have to pay off some debt before I can attend college. This company is providing me with bigger paychecks than I can make anywhere else. Unfortunately, they're also providing me with iffy home time. Therein lies my sacrifice. My first home time involved getting me home a day late and the load only allowing me 30 hours off. 
Sure that stinks, but when I came back to this company, I knew this sort of thing happened now and then. Granted, it didn't keep me from giving my dispatcher a big old fat piece of my mind, but in the end I had to suck it up and deal with it. As I'm writing this, I'm trying to get home for the second time. I've got to admit that this is a new experience for me. I've never driven for a company that didn't get me home within a day or two of my requested time. Usually I get home the day I request. This time I asked for Saturday and Sunday off. As of now, it's Tuesday, and I'm heading to Iowa to deliver a load on Wednesday. I live in Missouri. Someone needs a geography lesson. If anyone sees a way out of this, I'd be glad for them to point the way. As of now, the evil overlord and I have resolved that the next six to seven years are probably going to suck harder than a chain-smoking death row inmate, especially when I'm still out here in the truck while she's at home. She has class every weekday and studies at night. If she has any time off at all, it's always on the weekend. So far, my company can't seem to get me home on weekends. So if I get home on weekdays, I'll get to be alone during the day and watch her study at night. <laughs> Yay for me! I'll pray that changes, but I imagine God's got bigger fish to fry. I will say that if my goal was to drive a truck for the rest of my life, I wouldn't tolerate my company's inability to get me home on time, no matter how much money I made. I'd give it another couple of months, and if things didn't change, I'd jump ship. However, since there's an end and a clear goal in sight, it's time to suck it up and be a man. Just don't expect me to quit whining about it anytime soon. I'll just try to whine in a really deep, macho voice. Hey, yo, bud, where do you want this load of feedback? All right, now, the last podcast was the one called It's My Birthday, so fork it over. I got a lot of comments on Twitter, uh, but not really anything of, you know, it's only 440 characters, so what am I supposed to read to you here? I did get one thing in particular, though, that was a little surprising to me. Someone calling themselves Old Friend wrote in and left a comment on the blog. They wrote, Happy Birthday, Todd. You probably didn't even know that I read your blog. I've used it for examples in my practical communications class. Huh? <laughs> for your birthday, I give you my adoration for returning to your first love, as Striper says. Great Striper song, by the way. It does my heart good that you have returned to your faith. What would heaven be like without you and the evil overlord? Love ya, Andrea. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Well, Andre is an old friend from way back in the crazy days. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're reading a blog, but it's hard to believe that there's anything class-worthy in it. I'm honored that you think so, though. Just can't imagine how a hick like me can have any practical application in a practical communications class. Yeah, anyway, that's your choice. You're the teacher. <laughs> As for coming back to my faith, I'm glad, too. It's sad that it takes some people so long to realize what's real and true in this life, and the next, but better late than never. I appreciate you leaving a comment, Andrea. Keep on reading and commenting. And that goes for the rest of you, too. So what are you waiting on? Don't make me come over there. <laughs> post wasn't quite as whiny as I remembered it. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. So what's your priority? What are you willing to compromise to have that priority met? Or maybe you've got something to whine about. Head on over to abouttruckdriving.com, type sucking it up in the search bar, and leave your comments. You can reach me through email at truckerdump at gmail.com, or you can find me snarking around on Twitter where I'm at Todd McCann. That's two D's, two C's, and two N's. Lastly, I appreciate those of you who subscribe to the podcast through iTunes. It helps my rankings, and that's always a good thing. So until next time, drive safe and stay out of my way. <laughs> <laughs>